Hey everybody, Overkill here as always. Um, oh, I'm so excited today. So while I was in school, um, I seen this post on Twitter saying that Total War Warhammer got in a trailer. And I just could not wait for the day to end so I could go home and watch it. And I'm just going to watch it now. So I haven't seen, I haven't read anything about this. I literally just seen that post and got so excited that I just couldn't wait. So um, I'm just going to watch the trailer and, you know, voice myself over uh, watching it, I guess. Um, oh, I'm so excited. I really hope, um, I hear, the only thing I really heard was it's a different dev team uh, making it than the normal Total War games. So I hope it's like the like the other total war games it's not something new um from what i've like the few things that i did read like it's going to be a trilogy and stuff and so i'm assuming it's going to be a normal total war game it's just going to be made by someone else or a different team so without further ado i'm just going to go ahead and uh watch this okay oh I got like chills already, I'm so excited. Ah, there they are, GW. Trust the old games workshop. So what's going on here? Oh. Uh, I think these guys are called the Theogenists or something. That is a book of zinch right there, my friend. You probably shouldn't be looking at that. Oh, orcs! Yes! Of course, that's a given that they're gonna be in this. Oh my god. This is exciting me so much. I, lo I love nothing more than Warhammer. Manfred is in this as well. Okay. Manfred von Karstein. So they have characters in this too. That's awesome. So the vampire counts are there. Are we going to see a dwarf character here? Oh, jeez. Arachnorox? That's going to be scary. Oh. Karl Franz. It's one of my favorite characters in the universe. I actually have the model of him. Oh, magic from the warrior mage, or uh, battle mage, I mean. Oops. That doesn't stop your or orcs, though. There's a few more than uh, what one mage can stop. Yep, <laughs> that's why you don't read books of Zinch. The Lord of Change will have his way with you. Ooh. That's nasty. Okay. Let me guess. Let me guess. If he's going to summon something, it's probably going to be a greater demon of Zinch. Oh. I'm so excited. Wow. Is it greater demon of Zinch? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Of course it is. Oh my god. That's going to be horrifying. Wow. Wow. I've never been so pumped by a trailer before in my life. <laughs> well then. That's a lot to talk about right there. Um, personally, I'm pretty excited. Um... Warhammer has been a part of my life for a good six years now. 2009 is when I first started. Um, so I'm definitely excited to play as uh, Orcs and Vampire Counts. I actually have, if any of you out there know, uh, the lingo for Warhammer. I have 3,000 plus points, like three th three and a half thousand points of Vampire Counts. 
to you to those of you who don't know Warhammer lingo that's a lot of money spent on plastic um that I don't regret a single cent spent on but um a lot of people have been looking at um have been looking at some comments on reddit and stuff a lot of people don't even know what fantasy is they just they assume that this was going to have space marines and stuff in it uh no 40k and fantasy are completely different things 40k already has their games the dawn of war games um which were also fantastic uh but I, I have a lot of stuff for 40k as well but let's not talk about that too much considering this is supposed to be about total war um but yeah that just goes to show you how uh, little recognition fantasy gets because uh, everyone here is Warhammer, and everyone thinks 40k instantly. But Warhammer is the fantasy game. Um, so, yeah. Um, I don't really, really know what to think about the trailer, though, because it only showed the Empire, Orcs, Vampire Counts, and Chaos. So I assume that the factions were going to be guaranteed to have to play as. Um, not really... didn't see any other factions, so I'm kind of confused as to what's going to happen with them uh, I don't know if they're going to be added in if they're going to be announced later as the game comes closer to coming out kind of like uh, what they did with their past games announcing a new faction every like month or week um, I would really like to see the other factions because a lot of them are important <laughs> uh, I don't think there is a faction in the game or in the universe that isn't important so I'd like to be able to play as at least some form of all of them um, Skaven, for example, are very important, especially with the new end times things that have been happening. Um, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm sure eventually we'll be able to play as all the factions because they've already announced that there's going to be two standalones for this game, and that's before it even came out. So maybe each one will be during a different time period. Um, uh, a campaign set around the end times would be really interesting, trying to stop it or trying to cause it would be very fun if uh, you guys know what the end times are it's basically where pretty much all the evil forces in the Warhammer world come together to try to destroy the world and it ends up happening spoilers um, pretty much all the main characters die it was it was kinda sad um, but anyway I, I'm excited to see how they, where they take this because uh, as said before I really enjoy this universe and um, I really want to see it treated right because uh, Warhammer Fantasy hasn't really gotten the video game credit it deserves. And I've been wanting a Warhammer game ever since I played the the fantasy mod on Medieval 2. That was years ago. Uh, but that, that really got me excited for a Total War Warhammer game, and it's finally here. So in the comments below, tell me what you guys think. Uh, I'm excited to see what everybody thinks of this uh, announcement. And uh, until next time, this has been Overkill. And I'll see you next. No, I'll see you later. Goodbye.